Hello, my name is James Goldfarb from St. Francis Hospital in Roslyn, New York, and this presentation will be on recent trends in magnetic resonance angiography practitioners and practice in the United States Medicare population. We'll analyze data over a six-year time period, which contains a plethora of provider, exam, and payment data. The MRA data will be compared to general MRI and CTA data. Let's take a look at the first results of the analysis. The number of providers over the six year time period performing MRA. Unfortunately, this number decreased. In 2012, there were 8,053 providers and this reduced in 2017 to 7,028 a 13% decrease. We also see the number of MRA scans decreasing. In 2012, there were 431,000 MRA scans. In 2017, only 357,000. This is a 17.2% decrease. As a check, Let's compare the number of MRA providers, which decreased by about 14%, to the number of MRI providers, which increased about 7%, and CT providers, which increased about 5%. I think that it's helpful to first look at all MRI utilization in this population. Here we have the number of Medicare scans for each MRI exam type grouped over the six-year time period. Although unreadable, it clearly demonstrates the current uneven usage in MRI exam types. Let's take a look at the first 10 exam types from the previous slide. We see that non-contrast lumbar spine is most frequently used, followed by non-contrast brain. Non-contrast MRI of the head is eighth. Note that there is an increase in utilization for the first seven indications over the six-year time period. An MRI of the head is the first to decrease in use. Looking at the next 10 MRI exam types, we see MRA of the neck with contrast at 13th, and MRA of the chest at 18th. Note that other exam types are increasing in utilization, even cardiac MRI. MRA of the neck was decreasing, but MRA of the chest was increasing in utilization. Looking at the next 10 MRI exam types, we see non-contrast MRA of the neck at 16th, and MRA of the neck with and without contrast at 18th. Again, note that most MRI exam types are increasing in utilization. Look at MRI of the pelvis and MRI of the leg while MRA exam types are almost all decreasing in utilization. Let's take a look just at the MRA exam types and compare MRA scans. We see that brain and neck MRA are the most frequently used exams with non-contrast brain MRA being clearly the most utilized. MRA of the chest is the first non-neuroradiology exam, the sixth, followed by abdomen and peripheral MRA. Note the downward trends in utilization for the majority of exam types. A quick look at CTA scans shows that the most frequent CTA scan is chest, followed by neck, and then head. Note the stark difference in utilization trends with clear increases over the six year time period in the top five exam types. Looking at reimbursement, we see a decrease in payment of the global fee in the office setting for most MRA examinations. Payments to providers in the facility setting are professional fees, which remain steady, even increasing in 2017. We need to acknowledge a number of limitations in this study. Part B Medicare data is only included in the database. Part C Medicare or private insurance data are not included. To protect the privacy of Medicare beneficiaries, any aggregated records which are derived from 10 or fewer beneficiaries are excluded. 
It is assumed that the study data are representative of MRA practice in the US and can be generalized to exams reimbursed by other health insurances. Limitations aside, this report provides clear data on usage of MR angiography in the Medicare Part B population. The observed trends may guide future imaging related policies, including reimbursement and training. This study showed that both the number of MR angiography providers and examinations decreased from 2012 to 2017. MRA payments per scan also decreased. The trends in MRA utilization are contrary to other MRI and CTA exams.